Alright, what is going on everybody? It is Phase Adapt here again with another BO2 commentary. Only two more weeks left of this fucking game. I, two weeks, guys. Two weeks! But what I'm actually going to be talking about today is I'm going to be telling you guys a little story on how I got my first ever concussion. Because I swear to God, when I first started making these commentaries, all I would do is just tell stories. So I pretty much used up all the good stories I had. But for some reason, I guess I never told the story on how I got my concussion. What? Damn it. <sighs> I wonder if these kids are gonna freak out. They probably yeah. thought I hit a shot. Oh, oh, no way. Oh. Nope, yep. Where was Didn't he? even fucking jump oh off. My God, Adapt. Where was he? Where was he? Oh, so I guess I'm just gonna get right into the story. It was sixth grade, I was still living in Pennsylvania, and every day at lunch, me and my friends would always go out to the playground, and we'd fuck around on the playground, and do flips, and do all this shit on the monkey bars, and we all thought we were badass. We would like jump off the top of the playset, get on the monkey bars, do all these flips off the swings and shit, we thought we were so cool. And we had this one aide that watched us every day at lunch, and her name was fucking Betty. Her name was Betty, and I'm not trying to offend anyone out there that knows anyone named Betty, but that is just like the most stereotypical old person name like like if I when I think of the word Betty I think of an old lady like I'm, I'm sorry that's just what I think so every day when we would go out to the playground and we do all this shit on the playset and off the swings and all these flips and everything Betty would always have to tell us to stop and like she'd ha she we like looked at her as like an evil horrible person like a Grinch but in reality she was just doing her job we just didn't see that because we were little sixth graders so yeah we all fucking hated Betty and we'd always try to think of clever ways to distract Betty or to get her to turn her back or to get her to look away and this and that what the fuck is this guy doing? Okay. And I fuck I hit mar I hit marker the AFK guy. God damn it. Here, maybe second time's a charm. Maybe I'll tag this time. <laughs> I'm the best, bitch. I'm the best. That was like the worst shot ever, but I hit markered him and then I tagged him. You see this? I thought I thought that was pretty cool. Come on. You got to give that to me. Look at that, look at that. Let's go. Let's go, bitch. I don't know why I'm getting so hyped over such a shitty shot, but yeah, back to the story. But I remember on this one particular day, what we did was we had one of my friends pretend to hurt his leg or his knee or something like that. I can't remember, but Betty had to walk them into the nurse's office. So when we saw that Betty was gone to go bring my friend to the nurse's office, we had a fucking field day. We were all out on the play set doing flips and jumps and all kinds of crazy shit. And I remember I saw one of my friends doing this thing on the monkey bars where he'd stand on the platform and he would jump across and he'd skip like the first or second monkey bar and he'd grab like the third one and then he'd keep going. And I thought that was like the coolest shit ever. I was so amazed. And how I was as a kid is I'd always try to show off and one up everyone and then try to impress everyone and just do the cooler thing. So I went over to these monkey bars and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna skip the first four fucking monkey bars and jump all the way to the fifth one. And all my friends are there like gathered around like, no way dude, don't do it, you can't do it, you're gonna hurt yourself, blah blah blah, which only really made me want to do it more. So as you could probably tell where this is going, I'm on the monkey bars and I try to jump from the platform all the way to like the fourth or fifth monkey bar and my hands grasp it, like my hands barely, like my fingertips barely grab the bar and then I slip back and I fall and I do like a flip almost and I fucking bash the back of my head right on the top. Yep, I was fucking out cold. I was done. I was gone. I was gone. I still remember I was so close my hands barely grabbed the monkey bar and then gravity fucking did its thing and flipped me over and gave me a goddamn concussion. And then after that I got rushed to the ER and I had to go through a bunch of CAT scans and they found out I had a concussion and you know. And I'm pretty sure Betty got in like a fuck ton of trouble for that because she brought some uninjured kid to the nurse and while she was gone some kid got a concussion on the fucking playground. So I'm sorry Betty if you're watching this. I was a horrible kid. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize. So usually when I tell stories like this I like to have a little moral of the story. So I guess moral of the story would be don't be a dumbass and try to jump across the playground just to try to impress everyone because you can't do it. You can't jump from the platform to the fifth monkey bar. It's not it's not humanly possible for a sixth grader. So yeah, don't be a dumbass. That's always a good moral to have. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed this story. Make sure to leave a like if you did. I did have a shitty shot in here. I thought it was cool though because I like hit markered him and then I tagged him and I hit it next try. But whatever, it was still a garbage shot. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like if you do. This has been Face Adapt or Alex. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. This is a wrap, bitch.